Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our folktale series. Now in the previous episode we managed to complete quite a, quite a bit here. There was a lot of uh, demolition happening and uh, well we could build those water wheels as well. Let me just hide the water actually. But I'm just not gonna do it until the design is in its place. As you can see the beavers have been very busy putting down some dynamite and I really want to start this episode with demolishing all this. I think now is the window. There's no beavers up there. Amazing. Alright, so let's put this road, I think, about here. Are you able to reach it now? Yes, you are. So that is great. And what we'll do is... How many dynamites do we have? We have 40, uh, 46. So how about you be the main priority here and uh, this will be a little side project yeah i think that should be good okay so they'll carry on with that we have so many homeless beavers and that include no that doesn't include the 30 beavers that are here how many is it no 35 right a lot of homeless beavers and uh, frankly i don't really know what to do with them other than um Stop the beaver production. Yeah, we'll just leave two in case I forget about it. Um, but what I've also done here is I do have to extend their housing estates. And although I had different plans for the how to decorate this area, but right now we're in a bit of a crisis. Um, 35 homeless is not acceptable. So, yeah. Um, that's where um, we're gonna have some extra houses so what I've done is I've put a couple of smaller row houses in the bottom and uh, triple platforms in the middle and then uh, barracks can go right on top of it and that also means we can have another rooftop terrace here which is pretty amazing as well right I um, do want to do the same on this side however um, we'll have to move those lumberjack flags elsewhere and uh, can they reach that far not really sure. Let's uh, have a look if we place you here. I can't get all the trees. But what about... Okay, so up there, you could take these trees here. So that's good. And that means we can place you... Well, let's, let's have you there. Right, we'll let the beavers construct all that. We've got a few logs in here, but... Um, I'm just going to delete it. I mean, you, as you can see, there's so many maples just waiting to be harvested. And, um... No, it seems we don't have a few homeless. How many vacancies do you have? Not too many. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to build another one here. But not to worry, we can rebuild those decorations very, very easily. And we'll do the same at the, at the top here as well. Beautiful. Okay, so that should uh, hopefully house some of our beavers. Nothing to do... Oh, it must have been somewhere here. That's okay. Connect these roads. And yeah, they've taken, I think, a few stacks already. That's almost done as well. So that's going pretty well. I think in the next run, do you know what we'll do? We'll have a couple of construction beavers here. And we should have a couple more. Yep. And uh, metal... Let's, uh, oh, okay, we'll, um, place you here like so, and that way we can have even more beavers. Well, hopefully there's going to be space around here, I'm not sure, so sure about that, but, uh, uh, we'll have a, we'll have a couple more in the middle, and let's just connect them up as well. Right, that should be plenty of space for more beavers. I don't think they can all harvest, but, well, we'll see how it goes. Right, so most dynamites are in place already. So how about... Yeah, you're still in range, so that is good. And we'll place a few more dynamites. Oh, one second. We're going to have to send all these beavers back home. And go to District 6. Perfect. Now we completed the houses. Um, let's see. We got five more homeless. So once this barracks is done, that means everyone has a roof above their head. Yeah. That's fantastic. And uh, other than that, uh, drought is going to be here in 1.2 days, so that doesn't leave us a... Well, I mean, 
we already knew that we're not going to have it complete in time, so that's okay. Can we... Oh, I think we can. And here we go. I think the other side. Uh, I have a feeling this is too high and it's probably... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I wanted to connect them over, I think. Um, you know what? It, it's fine. We'll, um, we'll level this bit in here as well. Do we still have dynamites? We do have a few, but not too many. And use slightly lower priority. Okay. Wow. And the next step is gonna be through here. How far do we have to go? Oh, a little bit further. And yeah, that bridge is gonna be in the way. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Well, at least we did not use metal in uh when we built those bridges so that's that's good it's just um just logs and planks right let's send you send you over again i think now we can do oh we got mm, <laughs> 50 hopefully that is gonna be enough i believe it should so one of them is already full good uh scrap wise 1160 okay so half of it is here yeah, not everyone can jump in there, but that's okay. It's uh, it acts sort of as a as a buffer. As soon as one of those beavers uh, beavers leaves, another one will jump into its place. So uh, that actually works in our favor. Now let's have a look. Um, we are gonna have to get rid of this road there. They can still go down the stairs, but yeah, this is all in the way isn't it well that's okay and let's see we'll take out this road and put down a few more dynamites like so okay i think we'll have to provide them access maybe maybe somewhere here then is when they when the stairs should go down well, let's see um we'll give you the highest of priorities and you know what maybe in that well not maybe let's do it we'll we'll nope uh, never mind. That spot there as well. Couple more dynamites. Come on, beavers. Oh, almost night time again. So that means we are going to have to send all of you home any second now. And there it is. Home you go, everyone. Let's just check on the dynamites. And they've, uh, they've got everything in. So, wow. That was loud. Very loud. And all they've got to do now is build that final final piece here. I do feel we're going to have to build this road from here. Because I don't think they will be able to reach it now. No, they won't. And then... Uh, oh, that still needs to go a few levels down, doesn't it? Actually, do you know what? Maybe we'll only... Oh, again, I should have thought about it before. We'll only level the bits where we have to connect with the water wheels. That way we can still have some some land in here, I suppose. And then same on that corner. We do have to give you the higher priority. Oh wait, they can't go down. Well, never mind. Well, anyways, these will still have to go, so that's okay. We'll put a staircase here. Do they need to go anywhere there? I don't think they have to, but I have a feeling someone's going to be stranded. Is anyone here? No. Okay. So we can take that set of stairs out. I have a feeling we're going to have to put a platform here for the time being. And then later we can... Um, yeah, it does look like, like so, doesn't it? And if we bring the water back up... Okay, so now it's sort of all connected over here. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. I don't think we want the water to go through during the drought. Oh, yeah. 19.3. Uh, Wait, did we forget to send beavers over yes we did well, that's okay we'll do it in the next uh next time then right uh let's have a look what do we have here hmm few dynamites in place or we detonate this one now yes uh don't go in there oh that was close who who are who's this beep? box okay very brave uh, a bit foolish, I'd say. 
Wait, that's at the right level now, isn't it? Uh, just this one left. And one over here. And yeah, this bridge is in the way, but we can um, we can do this bit later. For them to be able to go all the way there. Ah, oh, this is a little bit annoying, isn't it? Do you know what? This is going to go. Uh, the staircase, and now we can put this road down. And I think we can also demolish this bit in here. Yeah, only four dynamites left. Oof, that isn't a lot to work with, but we'll make two. Okay, we'll speed up the time, get through the night, and... Um, yeah, so what I'll what I'll keep doing now for a few, I think for a few days, I'll um, I'll jump ahead in a little bit, but essentially I'm gonna keep carving this uh, canal into into the mountain here, and I'm really hoping. Okay, well let's see how it goes, and I'll be back as soon as this is well somewhat more more complete, I suppose. All right, and here we are. Wait, uh, another night has uh, arrived, so. Uh, before we get into anything, let's uh, send the be beavers back home. And there's a couple of things I've managed to get done. I think, first of all, how about we set this off from this corner? That was quite a quite a few dynamites, but I think now we should be at the height where we want it to be. And I've just noticed that there is a missing missing link there, but that's okay. So because the wet season is about to arrive in 5.2 days, and I realized that it's not going to be enough time to get it all complete how we want it, I have set up a side project over here, just a temporary few water wheels to help us pull through because we really need to get those shredders running as well making us some metal uh, right three times speed again so then uh, we can hopefully see over here what we need to do is we'll need to complete the final final pieces so we'll have one dynamite there this one i'm not too worried about because we can always do it from the top of the um, levees up there uh, wait let's just send i think 40 should be enough and they've pretty much taken this whole place down there's just a few bits left but uh we ran out of storage i had to build quite a few warehouses just to manage that but the problem really is we're not using the scrap metal i've got a couple of um warehouses here so hopefully they'll they'll stock them up 4.8 days we'll get those levees going i think probably replace um this bit in here as well with uh with some levees instead so let's do that real quick one and two they should be able to construct all all that and then the next thing just to get it going um let's talk about the design decisions here again so i think up here once the phase one is complete or phase two whichever it is now up here is going to be the area where we have the water dumps i was thinking to double back and have even more water wheels but i think right now because we have two four six eight sixteen in total and the amount of power we should get from here should be enough i think because we don't really have uh, what's the la last monument the tribute to ingenuity and that takes 600 horsepower so until we have uh, this one we should be able to well, supply electricity or power to all of our buildings in the long term i was thinking yeah to have water wheels here then snake back out there but the problem then is our water pumps will be in the last bit here so that's gonna be a little bit longer way for them to or the um all is to walk if the water dumps are in in this location here so i mean we could always extend go from here then back yeah that's that's something we'll have to think about now another problem that we have right now is the amount of water that comes through there uh, yeah we, we, we don't want this all to go through here we just want to stockpile a little bit of water in in this section here and then release more as we need it that probably also means we need um, triple floodgates here instead of two we'll need to lower or create like another pool essentially and same up here as well so these are a couple of the things we still need to do in order to improve it but 
the most important thing is to allow the all the extra water that we don't need to go through here into our main reservoir and essentially overall to flood out um, out of the map so these are a couple of the problems i don't think we can fix before the wet season starts although i think um a full white canal here we could make it maybe how much lower do we have to go i think that is like that is one two three three deep okay so you could have this canal here with some floodgates at the lowest setting i suppose ah uh, that also means we have to get rid of this bridge over here put some more levees in place and the levees should be the same height as everything else once the canal is in place i think we'll be able to take out those dams in here oh wait i already forgot to send them back hopefully they'll make it make it home in time uh where were we yeah so i think those dams can be replaced anyone building any of those levees already can't uh, okay they're, so they're slowly starting to put the levees in place fine not the speediest of response times there but that is okay I guess we could make it a bit more efficient if we go up, I don't know, from somewhere here. They'll also have to go over and then through here, maybe something like so. Yeah, that could speed things up just a little bit. And I think we'll have to put a staircase in, uh, in here as well to um, so they don't have to have this little U-turn. Right, I think this turn or this day, we don't really have to send them over because our storage is pretty much full anyway. So let's just... Um, let them let them hang out in the colony 172 beavers right now 52 unemployed so yeah i don't think we'll have to open the breeding pot anytime soon unless there's a massive death wave which uh, kind of seems it might be happening but okay we can put a few more stairs in place and that should allow them to yeah i think we'll try and be a little bit smarter this time and by that what i mean is we'll do the furthest corner first actually now that I think about it, that is not the smart way of doing it. The smart way will be to do the middle bits first. Yep, let's do let's do it that way. Because the sides we can always always reach later. And the levees will be here. Same with the double floodgates. That probably means we also need to demolish those sections there. Okay, well I guess we'll see how it's how it's gonna work out. Since we have so many spare beavers right now, we might consider doing another builder's hut just to speed things along. But everything's pretty full. I mean there's a bit of space in here. I'm quite curious to see as well how these water wheels are gonna work out because um yeah the water should go through here. Um well the last one. Let's see if it keeps it keeps it moving. Uh alright beavers come on it's um quite important we get this this done as soon as possible and then inside here oh they've done one of those dynamites so that is that is very good i believe we're gonna have to have a couple more of them and in this section i'm just thinking whether we need to lower another level but yeah ideally well long term wise we don't need to lower it because that's where some more wheels are gonna go to short term it will be best to lower it so that way we can um, have those wheel, um, sorry, the bumps, because the bumps are gonna go over this area. The bumps will be slightly, uh, lightly lower. It creates a little, little dip in there. Okay, let's check the reach as well. Right, so they can build everything here, which is fantastic. Can we please have it done? And we do have a bit of a stockpile on explosives as well, so it shouldn't take too long for them. I just need a few haulers to bring the explosives over and and when you look at that they are pretty busy on this side here too just one more dynamite and then that is done uh, same up here couple more is anyone yes we're bringing in the last one great Ooh, that was close uh, those beavers are very brave 1.7 days left we might be just about able to construct this whole thing here oh wow that is gonna got it very very close isn't it fortunately we we now have enough dynamites in store so that should that should help us a little bit okay another four dynamites done we'll detonate them as well one more level oh nighttime uh i have increased their work 
work shift as well by by one hour. Okay, I know it wasn't quite ready, but I don't think we care at this point. Please have these done as well. We'll give you the highest priority. And then we'll do the same in the middle. Well, first I want to have the side done so that way we can put the platforms in. Ah, so close. One more day left. Come on, beavers. We can get this done and then hopefully redirect the water into the reservoir instead and out of the map. Uh, whilst they are busy with that, I think right now maybe we'll start with um, not exploding everything. I have a feeling we might do that. Okay, so these are done. This one. We'll put a couple more. Highest priority. Okay, I'll slow that down that time just a little bit. I just need to see, is this the right height? It does seem like so. That is great. Let's put the platforms in here and we'll give you the highest priority as well. Dynamite. Yep. Just four more. We've got another one here. And now that is done. I think with you, we can probably leave you for the time being. Uh, but at the end here, we're gonna... Okay, so this is for the bumps. Walkway, two more bumps. Bumps, walkway, two more bumps. There we go. And we're just gonna need the small platforms on top of it. And that is going to take a lot of planks, but fortunately we've got quite a few in, in stock. So, um, yeah, that uh, should be should be all good. Can we please have them done? Both the platforms and also the dynamites. What is it? 0 0.4 days? No, it is not going to be done in time. Ah, oh, come on, beavers. You know what? We'll give all this slightly lower priority. Please have those dynamites done. Anyone... Bring in dynamites. Now we still have enough in store. Oh, it's the night time. Ah, uh, yeah. That means this is going to be filled up with water. Unfortunately. Well, at least we tried, I suppose. We'll put uh, dynamites around there as well. All right. Drought has ended. I mean, we can hold it for uh, just a few minutes by bringing it up. But that's not going to give us a lot of time. Uh, here comes the beaver army. Can you please not stand on top of the dynamite wait no it's too risky well they've done this side yeah we should have done just the front only come on get out of the way i think did they make it they made it okay now next let's get this done if we can get a couple more of these dynamites then we might be able to direct the water through here. That's gonna flood all of that though. Uh, well, let's see. Did we put the highest priority? Yes, we did. Okay, the water wheels are now working, giving us more power. 800. Wait, are they connected though? Let's see. Supply, all the wheels are working. Oh, I just realized the mistake we made. Oh, we're so silly. Yep. Uh, that's what we should have done because they're a little bit higher. Ah, uh, okay. No, that's okay. At least we realized our stupidity. And now we shall make a quick fix here. Okay, let's see. They're doing a couple more dynamites. We might be able to... Yes, and... Good, the water's flowing through. Now is the time to do the sides. And we'll give the highest priority for the middle. Slightly lower, but also important prior high priority to the side. We tried our best, but couldn't make it. That's okay. As soon as these dynamites get in, I think... Oh yeah, there goes the water. And it goes everywhere. I thought you were 2.5. Okay, now it should be better because we've given, given it an alternative escape route. That's just building a, our last two dynamites. Perfect. Once these are in, water should now flow through there. But we still have a few levees in place here. And I think I know what the problem is. I forgot to put those roads in here. Yeah. Once that is in, though, I think we might be... You know what? That's 0 0.5 for that. One for you. One for you. And let's see how much of this can go flow through here. Oh, that's starting to raise a little bit. Interesting. But here it goes. Here comes a couple more dynamites. Let's see if that changes anything. Not too much, but... 
Here's a few more dynamites. How about... How about that? Okay, we ran out of them. And... I think we might just be able to raise it a little bit. Hopefully without flooding everything. But we shall see. And another one. And now is probably the time when we can... Put in those floodgates. Yeah. Okay, and is the water flowing through here? No, it's not rising any higher. Well, we're not getting a lot of power right now because all this water is exiting through here. However, we could... Maybe let's try and put a couple of those wheels there. Maybe we'll get some more power through that one. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that was um, definitely quite interesting. And once this levee is in place as well, let's see. It's all flowing through, hopefully. Some of it is still coming in here. And yeah, I think it's probably time we've changed this with some levees as well. So I'm going to remove them. Levees in here and the highest priority, please. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's going pretty well. 0 0.5 for that, I'm thinking. You are 1.5. Actually, you know what? Let's do one. And then um, we can put the missing levies in both sides as well. Yeah, too high will be fine. That's not bad. We're getting a little bit of extra power. It's not very stable right now. But hey, that's some extra power, which means we could turn, turn on the shader. And we can start making some, um, some metal for our platforms. Okay. So that's going to be the end of this episode. In the next one, we'll, we'll get the water pumps in, in place as well. And we'll also start making some more metal. But also some of the metal platforms once we, once we get enough uh, metal, of course. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again in the next one.